By now, we've probably all witnessed the breakup that is the talk of town playing out on social media. The media outlets have also jumped on board and they're reporting about it. As expected, just like any other juicy news that unites Kenyans on Twitter to sound out their opinion, it has spawned some memes. The drama involves Instagram model Lishan Shalin Wanjiku, who goes by the social media handle Kairetu Lishan. On the other end of it is Kenyan rapper slash NRG radio presenter Barack Jacuzzi. Everyone was waiting to see how the two would handle the situation. Kairetu Lishan decided to take the high road, sharing a series of Instagram posts, accepting that truly Aliji Chomea, but she wasn't quite addressing the situation. Barack Jacuzzi decided to share a sarcastic tweet. He was implying that the man in the video wasn't him. The one thing that's really got Kenyans talking is the issue about abortion. Decoding what Lishan said in the video, it suggests that she had three abortions. Come on, like no bullshit. It definitely wasn't three. She was lying. Yo, I was being... She was I lying. do admit I was being extra dramatic. She's very extra and extra dramatic. She's uh, extra dramatic. When I said three, and then when everybody... The video was trending, I, I didn't even see the need to clarify because it was already... People were out she there already saying it was three. Lie. So how many are there? I need a number. Two. Two? Yeah, it was two. Two. And so everybody was saying, oh, you know, the leader's feet is... A couple of days later, these two decided to finally have a sit down and explain to everyone what actually went down. The fight took place at the Hype Fest event where Conscience was performing. The two are headed to the backstage area when Barack told the security guys that he didn't know her. She still managed to make her way into the backstage area and decided to confront him. And that's when all hell broke loose. The key issue that's coming out from their situation is the fact that the younger generation and even mature adults who should know better are still using abortion as a family planning method. The accessibility of over-the-counter medication that assists in abortion has encouraged this trend. It doesn't help that abortion is one of those taboo subjects that the youth and adults in general do not talk about. The fact that it's still illegal in Kenya also hampers the access to safe abortion services within the country. Can you imagine that under the Kenyan constitution, you risk seven to 14 years for unlawful abortion? And when we are talking about unlawful abortion, this is where the pregnancy does not impact on the health of the pregnant woman.